Hi, uh, welcome to definitely a little bit of a different Lunch with Friends today. I am Tim Nash of Scobin Realty. I'm here with Kelly Cole, who's with Gia's Italian. We'll talk a little bit more about what that is in just a second. Uh, I wonder if y'all can guess where we're at today. Usually I do Lunch with Friends in a operating restaurant and we're gonna be having, you know, and we have lunch and whatnot, but a little bit different today. So today, if you haven't guessed yet, and I bet a lot of you haven't, um, I'm actually in the Veterans, we, we are in the Veterans Memorial Building here in Cedar Rapids on Mays Island. And it's probably a building that you've driven by probably multiple times a week. And you might not have ever actually been inside of it. So we're on the third floor where they have a really amazing, um, we're at the bar. There's a restaurant that kind of wraps around behind where we're at right here. Um, there's like a conference room area that could be like a banquet hall kind of a thing. And then actually above us is a really, really, really cool ballroom. And I know that the Veterans Memorial Building does rent this space and that space out for weddings, events, and whatnot. And I know some people, because I think they're pretty busy, I know that they do, people do use it and do rent it out. But um, I really think this building is a true hidden treasure here in Cedar Rapids. Um, we do have at the well, I think technically we're kind of in the back of the building. The front of the building traditionally would be the second half entrance. And then the second half entrance, if you come in, um, this building has, I believe it's the only um, stained glass window done by, oh gosh, it's, it's got to be Grant Wood. I'm pretty sure it's Probably. Grant Wood. Probably. If it's not Grant Wood, you can <laughs> roast me alive. I, but I think it's Grant Wood, so I think it's the only... Grant Wood, you know, he's a very famous Iowa painter. I think this is the only work that he's done in stained glass. And if you go to my Instagram, um, you can see it. If you haven't already been there and guessed where I am today because I did a little Instagram post. Anyway, I'm past that now. Check out the Venice Memorial Building. It's super cool. We're in an amazing space. I'm with Kelly Cole with Gia's Italian, and I want Kelly now to tell me all about Gia's Italian. Well, thank you so much for having me. Um, I've never been inside of this building either, so if you haven't been here, come check it out. It is gorgeous. This bar is really cool. The space upstairs is beautiful for weddings, or you can rent it really for weddings. For anything, right? really, yeah. 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 Okay. Party. Yeah, get a party yeah. together. <laughs> just, just for the heck of it. Super Bowl party. There you go, Super Bowl party. <laughs> So yeah, so thank you again for having me. Um, I'm Kelly with Gia's Italian Kitchen and we are an online cooking instruction that was kind of born out of um, my Italian heritage. My grandparents are from Northern Italy and uh, my mom and I, you know, have had the challenge over the years of, of um, trying to write down recipes because if, if you have any Italian background, you know that, that your grandmother was just a little of this, little of this, nothing's written down and um, and, and for you to say this is how you make you know sauce or, or whatever right. is um, <clears throat> is a challenge because we don't have it written down so we've been doing that over the past few years and uh, I started this online business about a year ago mm -hmm. to um, to to share share the love and to you know a lot of people are intimidated by Italian cooking and it's really it's not that hard and that's one of the things that I try to bring is how can you make it easy how can you implement it into your weekly schedule to give you some shortcuts and take some of that intimidation um, out of yeah. out of that prep work. Um, so we do group classes, private group classes, um, or we do courses um, about once a quarter where it's uh, really anyone online. You know, I've had people from Portland and Chicago and Florida, and you you zoom into my website and uh, we make we make it together. Awesome. So um, kind of the premise is that's different from what you would see on a TV show mm -hmm. is I'll send you the grocery lists and the recipes ahead of time. I love it. So you, when we start filming, y you are prepped just like I'm prepped here today and we're going to, you know, cut the tomatoes together. I'm yes. not, uh, you know, today I did prep some of this so that we can eat something quick because we don't have a stove. We're not cooking anything today, but, uh, on, on the courses, the live courses, I'm lockstep with you and I, you know, I'm not pulling a finished product out of the oven that I've made yesterday. We're, That's awesome. we're doing it real yeah. time. We're pulling together um, dinner in about an hour, hour and 15. Mm -hmm. um, so it's really fun. It's been, it's been really fun. That's awesome. I love the idea that, I mean, so, and I bet that this, you guys think about this when she ex talks about, about how this came to your idea because um, everybody wants to save the recipes that their grandmother cooked, Italian or whatever, any heritage, any heritage right, you right. know, and I mean, I just was thinking the other day, I was like, oh, 
<laughs> I got I, I do. I'm, this is serious. I have to get the recipe for my grandma's ham balls. Oh my! Because she made. I know. What that, heritage is that? Um. Well, we're Czech, Irish, German. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I don't know where that okay. comes from. Maybe German. Maybe a little mm -hmm. bit of that German part. Maybe, I yeah. think. So, but um, but I just love that. I mean, that makes really sense. And I really like the idea that you're you're there cooking with them. So just like we would go to one of our parents or our grandparents and say, hey, grandma, let's make this together. That's basically what you're doing here is you're showing right, people right. step by step as we go through together on how to make this. Right. It's awesome. Yeah. yeah. So today we are going to make, um, it's an olive tapenade um, that you can, today we're just going to eat it on a baguette and it's wonderful to ha make as an appetizer. Mm -hmm. um, but the other way that you can do it that is just a lovely dinner is you saute the olive tapenade just a little bit on a, on a stove top for like just five minutes to kind of um, soften it and warm it mm -hmm. and serve it over like grilled halibut or grilled chicken and it is phenomenal. So today we're, I'll show you how we're going to uh, pull it together and then we can post the recipe. Love it. Um, and uh, so today's kind of the appetizer shortcut way, so we can yeah. so we can eat it in about ten minutes. So Sweet. yeah, sounds good. So I'm gonna start um, chopping a little bit as mm -hmm. we as we keep talking. Yeah, I love that you were, you brought um, a protein into there. I was like, ooh, because you said that, and I was like, do you put that on fish? Yes. Oh, did yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was in my head. I was like, oh, maybe that'll go on. Yeah. So, so I, I prepped. Um, the base of this is um, olives, but we use. Um, green olives and black olives, but mm -hmm. they are not the green olives and the black olives that you're going to buy in a can. That okay. is like, don't do that. Don't I mean, you that. can, but yeah. I'm telling you, don't do, don't do that. I, the black so. olives, I am not, the black olives from the can, I'm not a fan of, and, ever. And they, ever. these don't taste anything like that. Okay, so, good. So these are actually Spanish olives because I, um, in undergraduate, I studied in Spain and they're just like the best olives. Mm -hmm, so you can mm -hmm. use um, Spanish olives, or you can just use, um, you know, the all the green olives with the pimentos inside. Sure, sure. But the black olives, these are Italian olive oil cured. So okay. they're cured with olive oil and salt, and they taste absolutely nothing like um, a regular olive. So and I'm these are not like the Kalamata. No, and they're not Kalamata. They're not Kalamata. Okay. Yeah, they're not that. And um, if you can't find them, because some, some grocery stores have them, so I'm mm -hmm. going to give you... This is just the base. This is okay. not pulled together, but I'm gonna let you taste that, and, or maybe just take a little piece of the black olive okay. to taste the difference. I love it. Um, and if you can't find them, there's this oh, black I... olive paste that you can also buy that is those and some Kalamata olives, but uh, mainly the Italian cured, and they are it's pasted, and they they taste nothing like that. The is black awesome. Olive. Isn't that crazy? There's like. There's like the hint, like the slightest hint, like the, when they can the black olives, they, somebody tasted one of those and then they, I don't know how they do the other things. There's like, like it barely, like it barely get a hint and then you get a really great olive, like They're a really so good, good olive flavor. They're like it's so not, good. it's not as strong as like the green, like a Spanish olive, mm -hmm. but it's a little bit more mild version of that. Right. But, but I think a little saltier. Yeah. Um, but definitely like you have to like olives. <laughs> I love olives. <laughs> just some, so that's, some that's, that's, that's perfect. Yeah. So the base of this is the green olives, the black olives, um, some red onion. You can use green onion if you don't like the red, but this is all raw. Mm -hmm. And then um, the last ingredient is garlic. So this is my little secret. So if any of you have seen any of my shows, um, I take one of those big bags from, you know, one of the Sam's or Costco or even Heidi has little bags and put put them in your little food processor, yes. Poisoners, okay. and then you put it in a jar, fill it with olive oil, and this will keep in the freezer for months, or it'll keep in the fridge for probably three weeks. And then when you're ready to make even a stir fry, okay. you just take the garlic and olive oil and plop it in the pan, and half of Kate, your, Kate, your, your messiness, this? yeah. My wife like, Kate, that's, yes, this is perfect. Because yeah. how many contraptions does she have that she got like in her Christmas stocking on how to crush garlic? On what to do with and, garlic. Or, and yeah. it's a mess, right? Yeah, totally. So, so no. that's the other thing, there that's my go. easy little. So that's I what's in it. here is the base. Okay. Okay, then um, the tomatoes. So I use grape tomatoes. You can really use whatever tomatoes. Um, I like the smaller, like the grape or the cherry, because they're they're less meaty than like mm -hmm. a beef steak. Okay. Um, and I don't combine them um, until I'm ready to serve them because these um, tend to go bad faster. Yeah. And this will stay in your fridge for a 
way over a week. But if okay. you put the tomatoes in there, it kind of gets icky. Yeah, the so, tomatoes probably get like mushy and yeah. whatnot. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna just cut up a few more tomatoes okay. um, while we keep talking there. I love it. So what has been your uh, what's been the most favorite dish so far that you've like? What's your favorite? And then what are the what have, what what's what have you gotten the best response from? Oh, God, that's a really hard question because you know so far this year. Um, what I've made have been like let's bake all of our favorites. Yeah, <laughs> like sure, we, sure, sure. Our first series was a classic series where we made um, we made my grandmother's uh, marinara sauce. And okay, it was funny because my husband was like, "You can't make that and, and like film it and tell people what's in it." And I'm like, "Well, if my mom says we can, then right. we there can." And yes. So, um, did you get her permission? Like on like oh, on, on film? Screen? I got, on film? I got permission. Go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh yeah, I love it. Yes. Um, you know, I love really anything with with tomatoes. The sauce, our sauce is just, it's just hands down. And I know some of you have experienced it. Some of you out there um, were in one of my group classes where we I brought the homemade sauce and it is just phenomenal. Um, probably actually one of the um, raving dishes though that we just made a few weeks ago was a roasted vegetable lasagna. Oh. So it's a totally different sauce. Mm -hmm. It's um, roasted tomatoes with garlic and sea salt and then we roasted a ton of vegetables like eggplant and zucchini and bell peppers and made a completely vegetarian wow. lasagna okay. and some people were like eh, i don't know yeah i'm one of those people that like veg mm -hmm. i hear vegetarian mm -hmm. and i kind of get turned off a I little know. bit no i'm yeah. a meat eater but yeah. But, but this, this vegetable lasagna was actually a really big hit yeah. so that was um that was cool we'll do in, in our house we'll do like meatless not meatless Mondays, but I mean, we kind of call it that even if okay. it's Thursday. But um, about 50% of the time, uh, Kate usually, my wife usually, get, okay. she gets me, gets a good one. I'll be like, we can make this again. Mm -hmm. We can add this to the list of regulars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and when I make something that, that my husband doesn't like, um, he says, I'd be okay if you didn't make that again. That's his nice way of saying, saying no thank you. That's a nice way to That's say it. That's a no thank That's you. That's you know. Yeah. I'm all about trying new things, but you know, if, if you never thought to make that again, it'd be okay. <laughs> so what's your connection with this building? Oh, so I'm a veteran. Oh, yep, well I'm thank a, you for your service. I didn't you. know yeah. that about you actually. No, sorry, yeah, I'm a, I'm a two, I did two years in Iraq. Oh, wow. And um, I'm still in the Iowa National Guard. Okay. 20 years, next wow. November. Wow. Um, sooner or later I'll retire, but not yet. So, oh, yeah. that's right, because you do like one, is it one weekend a month? One weekend a month, okay, two weeks in the right. summer. Yep. Okay. Pretty close, pretty close to that. Yeah. Okay, wow. So, yeah. Awesome. So, so, yeah, so that's how I'm kind of connected to this building. Okay. And it's just such a great building, and it's really a shame that it, it, it gets used um, by people that know about it, but I, right. think that it, I think that it has so much potential, and it just doesn't, a lot of people just don't know what is actually inside the walls of this building. It's such a cool building, you know. Yeah, I mean, before you and I talked, I didn't know that the scope of what was available to someone right. who's not like a government employee or who's mm -hmm. not a veteran. Well, they got yeah. a museum. The building's always open. You can always see the museum uh, at the front of the building. There's a. Oh yeah. Oh okay. my gosh, she's gonna kill me. I can't remember like what specifically. Like we've got a re we got a. Oh, is it Korean? I think it's Korean War. I think we have a Korean War exhibit. No, she's gonna be so angry with me when she sees this. We have a regular <laughs> exhibit, and then we have like a rotating exhibit. Okay. And that is accurate. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to put you on no, the No, that's stock. okay, that's okay. I should know that, I should know that. That's yeah. funny. Okay, so um, the last piece is the dressing. So this is um, just olive oil and okay. uh, balsamic yes and um again you know in italian cooking there are so many olive oils and balsamic vinegars out there on the um, on the shelves and there's a lot that say light or robust or extra whatever mm -hmm. the in my opinion extra virgin olive oil period okay and there's an acidity level so this is my favorite but is extra the highest acidity level no it's no, the lowest, it's the lowest. so okay. if you think of an olive like a grape yeah the, the, a grape grower is going to pick the best grapes and they're gonna time when to pick them. Mm -hmm. It's the same with an olive. If you okay. get crappy olives, you're gonna get crappy olive oil. Or if you pick them at the wrong time, they're not ripe enough or they're too ripe. So the acidity level um, is a 0.8 and you don't have to remember that, but 
but if it says that on the bottle, you know you're getting you know you're getting a good, good olive oil. Good yeah. You know. So anyway, so well, um, and there's people that like appreciate olive oil, like people that appreciate wine. Right. It, it really can make or break um, your dish if, okay. it's, if it's crappy olive oil. So. I, I, I believe you. <laughs> um, so the other piece that's in here, because I'm going to do this uh, this weekend on some halibut, is anchovy paste. Yes. Okay. So anchovy paste, um, I'm sure most of you are like, Ugh. but really what it's doing is it's, I didn't put any salt and pepper in the dressing oh, because okay. there's so much salt in the anchovy. Sure. Yeah, definitely. So um, it's, you can just get you know, paste in a in a tube yeah. or in a jar mm -hmm. and just shake this up really good mm -hmm. and it kind of um, almost whips the olive oil mm -hmm. and then of course mixes the, sure, the anchovy. Sure. So um, to pull this together, we're just gonna now add, I'm gonna add it separately here, um, add our olive mixture and we're gonna, I'm just gonna give this a little toss because I made this yesterday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so as a quick tip, you know, one of the things that we do talk about is um, in our courses is what you can do ahead of time. So I made this yesterday and it's actually gonna taste better today because I made it yesterday because a lot of things, um, one, they taste better when they kind of sit and marry a little bit. Mm -hmm. But two, if you can make a shortcut and do something yesterday so you're not in the kitchen for three hours on the day of, well, your, yeah. of your dinner or event, you know, why not? So um, this is an easy thing that way, you're, to you're, prep half of it that way your meal might actually be ready when you say it's going to be exactly. ready. <laughs> right. Kate knows what I'm talking about. Right. And that's on me, not on her. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so these are just, I've added nothing to these. These are just some, some uh, multicolored and some yeah. grape tomatoes, and there's nothing on them. So I'm just going to give this a little toss. And then I cut up some fresh Italian parsley. You can use flat leaf for Italian, doesn't matter. Okay. They, I don't think they really taste different. Um, so I've just chopped those up. And um, to get the olives into this little thing, you can chop those like I chopped the tomatoes. I also use my little Cuisinart for, mm -hmm. um, to chop the olives. Okay. Um, and now, I'm, I don't know if I missed it or not. So in the, in the olive, besides olives, and olive oil or just olives in, um, that, in the top of that? So there's a little bit of the garlic, which that's has right, a little bit right, of okay. olive oil in yep. it. Yep. And uh, the red onion. And the red onion. She said all this. I'm just yeah. trying to like rewind <laughs> no, in my fine. head. So yeah. I, I did print you a, uh, a little recipe oh, well. there. Um, <laughs> you can read it later. But, yes, I'm not um, going to hold it up. But most of the reading. dressing is in this. Okay. So there was a little bit of olive oil because I did this with the garlic sure. in here already, but that it doesn't matter. Okay. Not, there's not that much in there. Okay, so I'm gonna just add a little bit of the dressing. So this is the olive oil, the balsamic, and the anchovy, and then we're gonna give it a taste. So and then excited. we can add a little These are all flavors that I absolutely love too. <laughs> it's so good, oh my gosh, this is so good. And the other way that I've done this in the past to kind of soften this up a little bit, mm -hmm is to add some feta cheese crumbles. Oh, yeah. Like if you're gonna do it as an appetizer mm -hmm. on a baguette, um, that is is a really nice uh, little twist to this. Now, I, I don't know if I would do that on the halibut, um, but you could do it on the chicken. It would be good on, yeah. uh, on the chicken. So I'm just giving this a real gentle toss because I don't want to totally squish the tomatoes. And then we're gonna put this on our baguette. So I took just some French bread and uh, sliced them real thin and toasted these up. Uh, and then we're gonna put a little bit of our, get a tomato on there. Whoop, he's gonna yeah, fall off. Smash it down on there, there you go. And there is our beautiful little appetizer. So I'm gonna it. give you the first one. Okay, okay. And I'm gonna break mine in half so I don't have to shove this in my face. I got a big mouth. <laughs> I can do it. I can do it. Okay, ready? Yeah. Mm. It's so good. Yep. What do you think? All the flavors I was hoping for. Mm hmm. Yeah. That's awesome. So, super easy. And again, something you can make ahead mm -hmm. so that um, you're saving time. Yeah. You know, on the day of your dinner or whatever. Yeah, because, so, if you're making this, chances are you're having an event or something. So this might not be the only thing that you're making. Right. So this is something right. you can pull together pretty quick mm -hmm. and then, like, move on to the next right. thing. Yeah. 
And part of it is all the prep time, like all the stuff that you prep beforehand, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah, and awesome. I put that, you know, uh, when people do the, the group class or the, the cooking class, I always put on there, if you want to do something ahead, mm -hmm. here's a couple things. Awesome. So that you don't have to guess at what to do ahead. So can you, so um, it, do you do subscriptions? You said you do a program, so you do like a quarterly program so they can sign up for like the whole program? Um, or how does that work? You know, that's a great idea. Right now I just do it one at a time. So, okay. our, so actually our next course... Um, it starts on Valentine's Day. There I was go. gonna start it, um, not, it, you know, at the end of this month, but a few of uh, a few of my friends are like, you should do a Valentine's dinner. So, heads up, it starts on Monday, uh, Valentine's. And since it's a Monday, I thought a lot of people may not go out. We are so going. We are going out. Yeah. So no, if you want to yeah. make dinner at home, but have a nice restaurant style dinner, mm -hmm. we are making um, a carbonara with pancetta and calamari, mm -hmm. and then a flourless chocolate torte that is to die for. So um, that starts the next course and then there'll be um, one to two additional nights. So that you wow. buy as a as a uh, package course. Okay. Um, those two or three nights and then um, and then that's it for that, you know, for that series. Sure. Um, and then there's a, a pre-recorded one that we did in November that was, you know, let's make the sauce. We made some meatballs, mm -hmm. we made, um, uh, a couple desserts that my grandma used to make. Okay. So you could buy that one, and those are all um, recorded in the website. Awesome. So you can watch those on your own time, and so you, can you still go in get and just all the pick yeah. and choose mm -hmm. on what, what, what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and awesome. then you still get all the the recipes and grocery lists, even for the past courses. They're sure. all in there. Um, yeah, and then the group class is uh, is something that we would just schedule when you want to do it, and when mm -hmm. you know when I have availability, um, and that is. Um, could be, you know, for for locals, uh, I, I've done it in person. Okay. Um, another one, you know, I had a mom who, she has five daughters, and they lived in five different cities. Mm -hmm. And so we picked a date. Everybody uh, zoomed into my website, and it was a private class where everybody could chit-chat, and um, we made a dinner. And so all six of them made. I love it. Very yeah, cool. so that was, you know, that that's a really fun option, too. Um, and I've done, like, a, an employer team building. Huh. Where people, if, you know, especially yeah. in this environment where people are in multiple locations, yeah, yeah definitely. Um, same thing. You can zoom people in and uh, do like a cooking demo for you know a, a team of employees or, That's or, awesome. or yeah. whatnot. Yeah. I'm wondering. They do have a full kitchen. I think it's right over there. So I'm wondering if some if you get a group of people, they could rent this room out and oh. then have Kelly come and do the do you know you, mm -hmm. you know where I'm going with uh -huh. this. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. <laughs> definitely. Awesome. Yep. Well, that was that was awesome. Do you want another one? I know yes, you do. Yes, I want I another one. Yes. I'm gonna give you a heaping, and you've got some of that stuff over there too. So if you want more me. olives, you gotta get the olives. You do the olives. Are the olives Here, I think I'm kind of. Are you, you loading me up loading on the olives? Up. Yeah, you got it. Okay. You got it. I okay. do. I'm I gonna do. take another one. It's so good. So if you want to try this with oh, yeah. with uh, oh, it's so good. No, with a oh, halibut yeah. or a chicken, mm -hmm. you're gonna put this all together like we did, all the way to the end here, and then just put it in a, a skillet um, for maybe five minutes, just yeah. on like low medium heat, really just to warm it up and soften the vegetables a little bit, and then you're just gonna scoop it like you would scoop it over a piece of toast. You're gonna scoop it over the fish. Yeah, and it's amazing. I love that idea. Wow. I'm gonna do one. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try this myself because you know it's great <laughs> technical here. And there's there's two pieces of toast left, so that's that's why yeah. that's why it works out so well. Well, you know what? I'm just you know, yeah. on display here. There's two pieces left. Have you not had lunch? I did have lunch, <laughs> but that does that doesn't that doesn't mean anything. Load it up. Come on. There Load we go. There we go. There we go. So, how long have you been doing this um, lunch friends over lunch thing? Sorry, now that you just took a bite. Um, three years. Okay. The pandemic kind of stopped things for a while. That's true. So, um, but, um, really, and if anyone out there is watching, I like to work with local business owners, people that are running nonprofits, community leaders, and I just want to get them on camera mm -hmm. so that they can kind of talk about their thing, what they're passionate about. Clearly food. I love passionate about food. <laughs> right. And, um, a lot of times we'll do it at a local restaurant. Uh-huh. But this is, and because I want to promote that restaurant as well, we right, want to, right. you know, eat local. Um, but in this case, 
we're promoting the Veterans Memorial Building. And G is Italian. Yep. So yeah. But Thank so if you. anybody out there is watching and you would like to um, talk about your thing, talk about your small business, talk about your nonprofit, talk about anything that you're passionate about, reach out to me and we'll have lunch. Okay? But how, do you have anything else for us today, Kelly? I just want to say thank you for having me. This yeah. has been so fun. Yeah, that's and, been a blast. Definitely. And I love promoting. Yeah, I want to promote, you know, fellow colleagues and, and local businesses. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think the first one that I watched was um, Tim Hankowitz from, oh, you know, that one was so from much the orchestra. Fun. Tim Hankowitz is the best. Oh, he's I never, a character. I never met him in my life. And I, I invited him to come have lunch with me for lunch with friends. And we talked. We did the video. <laughs> and then after the video, I think we talked for another hour. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, he was He's so much awesome. fun. He's yeah. awesome. So, um, yeah, so just check out my website. We'll post the, the website and the Facebook. Um, I've got a YouTube channel that has all the past videos on it, too, if you want to check out some of those um, recipes that we talked about today. And uh, email us, too, at uh, Gia's Italian Kitchen at gmail.com with any questions, and uh, we'd love to cook with you. Yep, and you can catch me at timnashrealtor.com. You can catch me at Veteran Realtor on Facebook. <laughs> CR realtor 38 on instagram i know you'll remember that one um but you can also go to my youtube channel and see this video and i will definitely link to your two youtube awesome. channel yeah. so you guys can uh see both of them yeah see both our videos yeah yeah so well, thank you so right. much this thanks was fun. so much if you're looking for a house to buy if you if you need to buy a house or you're looking <laughs> for a house to sell reach out to me we'll do lunch it's tim nash's golden realty kelly cold she is italian thanks so much thank you